I'm here with Brian. We have a Steam World Dig 2 yeah. sequel. Now, why did you guys decide to tell the story from Dorothy's side this time around? The thing was that Steam World Dig took us by surprise. We made Steam World Dig, and then we started making uh, a few smaller games. Uh, and we thought, okay, let's move on. And suddenly, Steam World Dig just blew up. It was so popular, and we were making money. And so it was like, <laughs> Yeah, we can't really, we didn't want to make Steam World Dig 2 uh, immediately afterwards because then we thought, okay, we're going to be stuck in this, we're going to be that digging company, right? So instead we wanted to make something bigger, a game called Steam World Heist that turned out just beautifully. And then we made even more money. So then we thought, it's like, okay, let's now do Steam World Dig the way it was supposed to be. It's like, because we literally ran out of cash making Steam World Dig. We had to sort of break off development uh, sort of halfway through. And so we really wanted to make Steam World Dig 2 while people were still remembering Steam World Dig. Makes sense. And to be a part of Nintendo Switch's Nindy Showcase, how cool is that to show it off on a brand new console? It's uh, awesomely cool. When I grew up, Nintendo was uh, video gaming. I say. It was, it was the only, you didn't even think that about the company Nintendo because that was all there was. You, you were always playing Nintendo games, right? And the quality was so high. Nintendo themselves think the world of, of Image and Forum. And we sort of need to manage those expectations. We need to continue to make the best games possible. We have to continue to make better games than Nintendo themselves to, to stay up there. And uh, that's what we intend to do. So yeah, it's radical, it's great. Great time to be alive, yeah. It is an awesome time to be alive. Yeah. We have new hardware, new games coming out. How do you guys take advantage of the hardware that the Switch has to offer? In numerous ways. I mean, because our games are very good handheld experiences. That's one thing, you know. It's like you think of the Switch as a console, but like a big thing is that it's both a console and a handheld unit. We're sort of, we've already gotten used to that idea. It's radical, you know, in itself. You can sit there at home and play and spend a lot of hours and it's like, damn, I'm gonna continue playing this on the bus. You just pick it pick it up and play. And not every game is is great that way, but like Steam Will Dig, Steam Will Heist, which I hope we're going to port to Steam Will, to to the Switch one day, are excellent uh, handheld experiences. And so is Steam Will Dig too. Even better than the other ones, I would say. So we're thrilled that Steam Will Dig 2 is is uh, making its debut on, on Nintendo Switch. Obviously there are some other hardware things that we are taking advantage of like uh, HD Rumble and so on. And that thing is, that is not, that's voodoo, you know, it's like that's magic. Have you, have you, have you felt it? It's like, it's... I, I um, felt it. Yeah? I love it. Right? I mean, I'm, I'm in. I'm yeah. all in. I can't, I can't wait to get a hold of all these games awesome, that right? they have to offer. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, mentioning that, you know, new hardware, a lot of people getting excited about it. What's the most exciting, cool new thing, I guess you could ask for, uh, from SteamWorld Dig 2 that you think fans might get a kick out of? Uh, There's so many things. I mean, the beauty of it is like we, both SteamWorld Dig and SteamWorld Heist were praised because there was, one, one aspect is that they look so good. And we knew when we made Steam Will Dig, they said, yeah, it could have looked 10 times better. And that's one thing. It's like our art director could finally take the time to sort of develop all of those small things. It's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful game. It's lush, it's wonderful. And it also is handcrafted. We spent thousands of hours like, um, uh, level designing Steam Will Dig 2. We didn't do that with Steam Will Dig. It's one of those games when you play it and you you manage to make that jump that just looks impossible. Well, it was supposed to be almost impossible, right? It was it was supposed to be hard. And that's the thing. It's a uh, we want to make I mean, if you're if you're a third-party developer making a platformer for a Nintendo console, you'd better do it right, right? Because they are the kings of platforming. We want to, well, again, we want to make sure that we deserve to be up there. It's a passion project that I yeah. can't wait to play. Yeah, it is. Good luck with the game. Thanks so much. Seamal Dick 2.